Okay, hello Cloud Gurus and welcome to AWS This Week. So we've got heaps of new announcements this week, including a new EC2 instance type for high memory. Aurora Parallel Query is now in general availability. RDS now provides database deletion protection. There are two new exciting enhancements to AWS VPN. And you can now use CloudWatch outside the AWS console. And we announce our Guru of the Week. You're watching AWS This Week with me, Faye Ellis. And with me, Ryan Cronenberg. So there's a new instance type now available and it's called EC2 High Memory. And these high memory instances can support a massive 12 terabytes of memory in a single instance. They're also EBS optimized by default and they also include enhanced networking and they are the very first instance types to use the latest generation eight socket Intel Skylake processors. So these instance types have been specifically designed to run large in-memory databases like SAP HANA. So think complex high performance analytics. And they are actually certified by SAP for running a whole suite of their data analytics and processing applications. Aurora Parallel Query is now in general availability. And if you don't remember, Aurora is a high performance MySQL and Postgres compatible relational database. And with this new feature, you can now process queries significantly faster, so up to two orders of magnitude faster by running the analytical queries in parallel. And right now, this is only available for the MySQL compatible edition, and you do need to enable it when you initially create the Aurora cluster. So RDS now provides database deletion protection. And this means that when a database is created using deletion protection, it cannot be deleted by any user. Instead, you're gonna to have to go in, remove deletion protection, and then delete the database. And this capability is now available for Aurora, for RDS, for MySQL, MariaDB, Oracle, PostgreSQL, and SQL Server instances. And it's available in all regions. And deletion protection is actually enabled by default. So when you go in to provision your databases and you select the production option, it will be enabled by default. And of course, you can disable it when you want to delete your databases. There are two new exciting announcements for AWS VPN. So firstly, the network load balancer, it now supports connections coming in from AWS VPN. And if you don't remember, the network load balancer is a high performance layer four load balancer, and it can handle millions of requests per second. And it can now support connections from on-premises clients coming over an AWS VPN. And the second announcement is that on-premises systems can now also access AWS Private Link using VPN. So Private Link, this allows you to privately access services in your VPC, but without using public IPs and without needing to traverse the internet. And previously, both of these, they were only available using Direct Connect, but you can now do it using an AWS VPN, which is really quick and simple to configure. So you can now build custom CloudWatch dashboards outside of the AWS console. So there's also a new API called the GetMetric Widget Image API, and it also allows you to retrieve a snapshot of the CloudWatch graph to display on your own website as a bitmap image. And this will let you create shareable charts for chat applications, ticketing systems, and bug tracking tools. And it can also increase the visibility of your metrics without having to give users console access. So on to Guru of the Week, and the correct answer this week was C, and lots of people got it right, but the person with the best answer is Mylene Villanueva, and Mylene works for Verizon Wireless in the US. So congratulations to Mylene. There's a A Cloud Guru t-shirt, sticker, and hand-signed card on the way to you in the post, and you're also in the draw to win a free ticket to reInvent for 2019. So please see the link below for this week's question, which is now live on our Facebook page. And that's all from us. You've been watching AWS This Week. Keep, Keep being, being awesome, awesome Cloud, Cloud Gurus. And we'll see you next time.